Okay, so let's have a look at why you might choose GCSE uh, computer science as one of your option choices. So first things first, a question for you. Okay, do you like any of these? So are you a creative person? Do you like the idea of programming? Are you good at maths? Um, are you quite logical? Are you interested in problem solving or interested in technology? Uh, are you intrigued by the word hacking or interested about understanding how the internet works? Well, if any of those are a yes, then you might want to consider computer science. So computers are, are, are literally changing every part of our lives at an ever increasing rate, okay? Uh, so why don't you choose to be part of that driving that future, okay? Ex you'll get experience programming and making software. You'll find out about how hackers attack computers. You'll discover how computers work. You'll solve logical problems, okay? Um, now, one of the main things to consider when choosing computer science is, you know, what kind of future, what type of career or what area would you like to work in? Now, the CPU design is the brain of the computer and the UK is one of the world leaders in designing that brain. Um, they're made by ARM, who are based in Cambridge, and ARM chips are now used uh, widely. You probably know them mostly from iPhones. OK, um, are you the person who wants to go into designing products like that in the future? Uh, are you intrigued by drones? OK, drones are already used for filmmaking and for search and rescue. But in the future, these devices are being currently experimented with in terms of deliveries to your house. OK, and if that happens, well, then we're going to need programmers to tell them where to go each and every day. There's going to be a lot of technical problems with flying drones around cities and the way cities change and all that. So could you be a part of that future and think about how we could program those sorts of devices? Um, what about robotics? OK, um, more and more scientists are discovering different ways of using robots. At the minute, we're already using them, um, at, you know, for like vacuums in your house and for car assembly. Um, clearing mines in war zones that's all done also, like with robots now to save people but what else could we use them for and do you want to be a part of that future and understand you know robotics what about the, the idea that robots and and humans combine a little bit the idea of like putting a processor inside the body like we've got we've got these prosthetics now that you're getting more and more and more sophisticated so what's next um what about just the web invented by a british scientist tim berners lee in 1989 more than 4 billion people now use it, but that's still not everybody in the world. Over 45 billion web pages have been written and every British business needs people who can understand how to use computers, how to use the internet, how to make websites. Um, what about e-commerce? Okay, shopping has been, as particularly during this pandemic, shopping has been really transformed. The high street is becoming um, less and less as we do more and more online shopping. OK, uh, but on top of that, even the way we pay for things. Now, I, I personally I've stopped using my card. Everything I do is either through my phone or through my watch now. So um, and, and if you look at those f figures there in 2014, one trillion pounds of worth of shopping was bought online. And it's predicted that by 2021 this year, that's going to go up to three point seven trillion. But how does it work? Do you want to know how it works? Do you want to be involved in the future of that part of the uh, industry? Um, what about augmented reality? This is another great new feature by adding um, virtual elements to our phones. So you can see there, there's like a map app that's going on there. And as I point that at the buildings in front of me, it uses the map to find out what those things are. So I can even get reviews about those places. Uh, think about Pokemon Go. That was a game that came out where you could travel the world and actually find rare Pokemon. So it's like a real life computer game. Um, entrepreneurs love building small apps themselves. You could be a small business person yourself. Design the next greatest communication app, okay? Look at, it took three people to make Snapchat, okay? Um, within four years of the software, was sending six billion videos per day, okay? And uh, most entrepreneurs can't imagine having made it without a knowledge of IT and computer science. You, you just, you need that, that grounding to get going. Um, so there's big companies in the UK, major international companies are present. Uh, Google, Microsoft, Apple, Samsung, they all have their offices, a lot of them in London, but in other big cities as well. Um, so choosing computer science does open up a massive world of opportunities for you in the future. Um, look at the games industry, for instance. Um, we've got Grand Theft Auto that was actually made in Edinburgh. Elite and Dangerous made in um, Cambridge. Candy Crush, 
and Batman were actually made in London. Um, Sonic Forces made in Leamington Spa. Yeah, Burnout Paradise is another British game. So lots and lots of different areas that you might want to go into. And we experience and learn about all those areas within GCSE Computer Science. OK, but it's a very technical understanding of those areas. So you might be interested in how apps work and want to design apps, but you're actually more interested in the artwork. If that's the case, this this subject isn't for you. And you need to go and check out my Creative by Media video. OK, if you want to do digital games development, that's great. But this is for the people who want to code games. This isn't for the people who want to do nice, pretty artwork for games, because actually it takes a combination of both those people. So again, go and check out Creative Eye Media. Go and check out media studies or photography if you're more of a creative person, because there's still lots of ways into those same that same industry. But from a graphics point of view, this course is for the people who want that technical understanding. I want to know about how to program and make computers do things, not necessarily how pretty all those things look whilst they're doing it. That's where we have the two different subjects. Um, now, if you do choose this course, you'll be basically uh, opting to do the three areas which are on the uh, on the screen now. OK, so paper one focuses on your problem solving skills. That's where you'll do most of your coding. Um, it is a written paper, so the coding that you do is by hand in, in the paper. If you carry on to A-level, that paper actually becomes an on-screen and you do live coding in the exam. But for the GCSE, it's just a written exam and it tests your problem-solving skills. Paper two is about your theoretical understanding, so about the theory around how computer systems work, so how processors work, how networking works, how the internet works, ethical issues around whether we should be turning out new computer devices every year and throwing old ones away, or whether we should be doing more to keep the old ones running. Things like that will come up, come up in that year, that unit. And then we do a programming project. There's a strong theme of programming all the way through the course. And then in year 11, you get given a 10 hour project to do where you have to design a piece of software. And the exam board gives us the problem that you need to solve. There's, an, there's a few options and we pick the one that most suits the class. And that's that'll be your programming project. And that's a real great time to put all your problem solving skills together, put all your knowledge skills together and then go and program a real piece of software. Um, <clears throat> so that pretty much covers the computer science. You'd need to get in touch with me if you've got other specific questions about specific areas. OK, but just leave this knowing that there are many, many different areas in the UK that all use computer science on a daily basis. And if you're interested in getting into one of those areas, this, this is definitely the type of course for you. There's a, a list of five jobs, potential areas that are there, but there's many, many more. And even if you just wanted to not do anything computer science related in the future, if you want to go and be a vet or if you want to go and be a lawyer or something like that, it could still be a good subject because it teaches you a lot of things about problem solving and about working through procedures and about how to sort of break tasks down into uh, manageable chunks. Um, so do give it a consideration. And then um, like get in touch and speak to me if you've got other specific questions and want to learn more or uh, if you think there's something I've missed. All right. So thanks for watching the video and I look forward to hearing from you soon.